Okay, all you dusty carpenters, vent a hood. Today we're going to be putting in a vent hood, and this is a ductless type, as you can see with the with the grill on top. We're going to put in a ducted type. So the very first thing you want to do before you even get started, we need to get a piece of plywood or something and set on top the the uh, stove, and then we're going to cover everything with plastic because we don't want any any dust or anything getting down inside these grills. Got our plywood on here. That way if something falls from up here and hits that, we won't be chipping the paint on our however many dollars our oven is. We don't want to ruin it. Alright, we got the electricity off. You always want to double check it to make sure. So now what we'll do is we'll come in here and we'll get the screws out of here. We'll get this thing down. Okay, you want to save these little wire nuts. You may, they may come in handy again. Okay, we've got the, the wires disconnected. We've got these out of the way. Now, when you get ready to pull the hood down, you're going to have to get some help because you're going to need somebody to feed these wires through the back of the thinner hood because it's going to be kind of hard to hold this by yourself. Push, push those wires up through that hole right there. And drop it down a little bit. Okay. Hold it. Okay. Set it right there. I got it. Thank you, sir. Well, it's always best to wear gloves when you're handling it because there's so many sharp edges on these uh, metal edges that it's really easy to cut yourself so let's get this one out of here and then we'll cut our hole up here in the cabinets so we'll go ahead if you've got an old screwdriver we'll break these wells I've got an old chisel and that's all it's for it's for rough stuff but I know that I'm never going to be able to worry about chiseling out any lumber. that this gets discarded. Don't need it anymore. You always take out too much. This here wasn't supposed to come out. Of course I'm just doing this to show you the in case you do take it out you can leave it out because this adapter you have to buy a special baffle that goes on top of this. It basically works like this one. So when the air is not running out, the baffle will close. Or if you're handy enough, you can make your own. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this back off. Put this one on. plate back on there. Right, we got that plate back on there. We'll get some duct tape. There's no chance of this falling in there because it's on top of the vent hood. And to have access to air conditioning duct tape. This is the kind where you peel off the backing. Then the air activates the glue.
That way there's no chance of this coming loose. It's uh, your duct sealing tape that you can get at uh, old blue, new orange in the air conditioning department. What I like to do is I like to run some duct tape around the outside edge. That'll help seal all the little cracks and stuff that you might have. Check the freedom of your baffle. Now we're ready to mark up on the on the cabinet. Hey, that's done. Hey, we get our wire adapter that screws in here so that our Romex goes through here we have something to tie it to. Okay. This is our nut that goes on the back side. Tighten that up. Okay. We're ready to get our measurements from the from the baffle to the ends of our cabinet so we can go cut the hole up in our cabinet. Okay, we'll get our measurements. We'll bring our tape all the way from the edge. Come in, the first one is nine and a half. Don't move your tape, leave it right there. You want to come from nine and a half to the other side, which should be 20 and a half. Right, 20 and a half. Okay, come from the back. Start with the back. You got one and a half. And then go to the front, and you got five and a quarter. Now we take these numbers and we transfer them to the top, or excuse me, to the bottom of your cabinet. And we want to come from, we want to come from the cabinet wall, not the inside anywhere in the cabinet because your vent hood is going to fit between this wall or this cabinet and the other cabinet. So that's where all your measurements, that's why you allow yourself between a quarter and a half an inch so that you got a little wiggle room to get this thing up in there. Uh, we come in with our first measurement, which was nine and a half. To twenty and a half. Okay. Come up a few inches, do the same thing again. Nine and a half. Twenty and a half. Okay. And you want to do the same with the back? Pretty much in the same area. You want to go one and a half to five and a quarter. Come to the other side. One and a half, five and a quarter. Okay, get your straight edge and connect the dots.
other than getting in the attic and doing the work up there, this is going to be about the worst part, is cutting these holes in the cabinet because it's kind of messy. But what we'll do is we'll get a drill and we're just going to drill a series of holes all the way around and then we'll take our saber saw. We'll get in as close as I can to the wall. Sometimes you need a sawzall. We'll try saber saw because everybody should have one of those anyway.